Historical facts that mess with your sense of time. I'm really excited for this video because I've covered so many of these things. I remember specifically using these Wojaks as thumbnails recently. I'm curious if a lot of these like amazing facts are actually true though. I guess we're going to find out. Well, I mean, in this case, we know that there are Egyptians building giant triangles in the desert about 5,000 years ago. This video is by Casual Lectures. Please go subscribe. Plistically divide things into old days and modern times <laughs> because our brains can often struggle with the perception of time. I compiled this is gonna a series be mind of interesting bending. facts on historical events that surprisingly took place. One of them that I can think of just off the top of my head is how Charles Darwin knew the same tortoise as Steve Irwin. I just recently covered that too. More or less the same time, turning them into real and pretty fascinating coincidences and will make you think twice about how you perceive the past. Number one, the same <laughs> oh, well, tortoise there you go. belonged to both Charles Darwin and Steve Irwin. Now, were... this shouldn't be too surprising since tortoises can live to be like, what, 150 years? It's just crazy that those two figures came together. Yeah, at the upper edges, sea turtles can live to be about 150 years old. Some species even 250 years old. How is that possible? Reportedly collected by Charles Darwin during his 1835 visit to the Galapagos Islands. So 1835. round the world survey expedition. That's about 150 years in order to, to England and meet then Steve Irwin. Her final home, Australia, by a retiring captain of the Beagle, and that's where the ship Darwin Steve used came for from. his expedition. And as we all know, tortoises can live quite a long time. And by a hilarious turn of events, Harriet turned up in Steve Irwin's zoo. That's crazy. That's right. The pet tortoise of Charles Darwin was that's adopted beautiful. by the legendary crocodile <laughs> hunter. However, some doubt was cast on this story by the hmm. fact that Darwin had never visited the island that Harriet originally came from. Whether this is a true fact or not, it could be. And that's still interesting enough, right? <laughs> it would be awesome if it is true, though. Anyhow. She had an estimated age of 175 by the time Jeez. she finally died at Steve Irwin's zoo. Number it two, still puts time today's in perspective. oldest living tree was already 1,000 years old when the last woolly mammoth died. It's already 1,000 years old when the last... I could see that. The last woolly mammoth died, what, like 10,000 years ago? No, actually, that's when the vast majority didn't make it. The last one was only about 3,700 years ago. Man, I still wish we had these guys running around. The world's oldest tree is a great basin bristlecone pine located in White Mountains, California. I knew that it was in around 5, the Pacific States. To put that into perspective... Those are where some of the Isolated oldest populations of woolly mammoths on Wrangell Island didn't finally go extinct until 4,000 years ago. With More the small less. island in the Arctic Ocean serving yeah, so that as makes a sanctuary sense. for the great beasts after they were forced from the mainland by humans and climate change. Number three. Woolly oh, mammoths we go were again. still alive while Egyptians were building the pyramids. Okay, we can actually do this math right now. I think that woolly mammoths survived another thousand years after the pyramids were built, apparently. I think this fact is more popular nowadays, but I still want to include it, since it's a true classic. Scientists have determined yeah. that woolly mammoths were still roaming the Earth until For about 1650 BC. That is crazy. Meanwhile, they might have been the trapped on an island. The great pyramids but... in Egypt, <laughs> the Pyramid of Djoser was constructed between 2630 BC and 2611 BC. Wow. Meaning that while man was busy building we some of the it, most boys. incredible structures ever made, <laughs> woolly mammoths were still doing their thing. Number four, That's crazy. Mahatma Gandhi and Jack the Ripper. Gandhi is so bound up with the titanic events I've heard of the of this. 20th century that it might be- Oh, they might have ran into each other, right? ...to imagine him as a dapper gentleman of Victorian society, but that's exactly what he yes. became while studying law in London. Yes, Arriving it's in possible September 1888, they were at the same right place. Right in the midst of the Jack the Ripper killings. That's crazy. Gandhi obviously had nothing to do with the Jack the Ripper killings, but it's funny to man, think about what if, the fact- Oh man, what if you just turned, took a wrong turn? Oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. I'm glad Gandhi here just stayed out of any dark alleyways. That Gandhi could have become a suspect in the most famous murder case. Oh, oh, that's right. I guess he could have been- He could- No, that's- Number no. five. Nintendo was founded when Jack the Ripper was still on the loose. Even though Yes, Jack yes, Nintendo is actually an extremely old company. Jack the Ripper and Nintendo were around during the same time. It's not even close to Japan's, one of Japan's oldest companies. It's just surprising because we see it as like a technology company. He never got the chance to play classics like Zelda and Mario. They originally made playing cards called Hanafuda, and mm. the company was founded way back in 1889 when the infamous Jack the Ripper was creating havoc on the streets of London. I like His that we're using topics. We start with like woolly mammoths and the Egyptians, woolly mammoths and those old trees. Like we're using the same thing for reference to hop around here. And only about a year before Nintendo came into existence. Number six, 
Star Wars came out. Yes, and I've actually I just talked about this a couple days ago. I don't know why France let that go on for so long. Like we joke that it's France's favorite pastime to cut people's heads off, but it kind of isn't a joke. They did it for like 200 years, at least using the guillotine. Year as the last guillotine execution in France. Yes. When thinking about guillotine executions, our minds wander to historic <laughs> figures like Napoleon. What, uh, was it still being held in the public square? Do I even want to know? Like the French were still out there enjoying a good old guillotine session while they wait outside the movie theater to go see Star Wars. Execution isn't that old. Star Wars premiered in the United States on May 25th, 1977. Uh, in the U.S. At the so same maybe... time, this futuristic sci-fi was wowing audiences around the world. <laughs> the medieval practice yes. of death by guillotine was still taking place in France, where oh, Hamida France. pimp killer Jandubi was... Jeez. This was the last use of the guillotine in France. Nobody else has been executed using any means since. I wonder what finally so technically, stopped them. It is possible that people were talking about the upcoming Star Wars movie <laughs> well, while they're... watching the last guillotine execution. Number seven. <laughs> you perfect. could take the London Underground to the last public hanging in the UK. Oh wow. Okay, so the UK is also somewhat, uh, somewhat in the same boat here. We continue on with the topic of public executions, but we travel nice. to Britain. Hanging used to be a common punishment in the UK and wasn't abolished yeah. until 1868. I mean, they Michael did that Barrett for a long time. A lot of places did that. was the last in this manner that. in Newgate Prison, London, in front of a large crowd of people. Five years earlier, in 1863, the, the first London... journey of the London Underground took place. I think I'm more shocked. 18... The 19th century is not that crazy. They Like, the last one the UK did? Okay. I mean, we here in the US, we're still having public duels in the Wild West at this time. I mean, you know, it's, it's all good. But it is insane to me that at that time, they began to build the Underground. I wonder it's so amazing. They've had like 200 years to build this thing. With a station in operation close by the Newgate wow. Prison, it is entirely feasible that many Londoners that... would take the tube to go and watch somebody get hanged. Wow. What a very convenient situation. <laughs> Number eight. Why not? Prisoners arrived at Auschwitz oh. just days after McDonald's was founded. While McDonald's is uh, traditionally associated- Yes. Yes. Well, you know what? I mean, I knew McDonald's really rose in popularity in the 50s, so I'm a little bit surprised that it was like early 40s. It technically started serving burgers and stuff. Associated with the good times and affluence of 1950s America, the very first restaurant was opened much earlier, on May 15th, 1940. 1940. At the same time, one of wow. the most gruesome events in human history began in Europe. Just five I days after really McDonald's take... grand opening, the first prisoners arrived at the Auschwitz wow. concentration camp in what is now Poland. Number nine. The fax machine was invented the same year the first wagon crossed the Oregon Trail. Now that... Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. How? I mean, I guess as a millennial, I don't really understand fax machines in general. We all know the story <laughs> of the Oregon Trail since it's an important part of American history. However, what many don't know is that at the same time the first wagon traversed this trail, How, what, an important how did technological do this? milestone was achieved. The original fax machine, through, like, the electric printing telegraph, was patented in 1843 by Scottish do, 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 inventor do. Alexander Bain. The same year that about 1,000 people set off west for Oregon, forming a huge It really wagon just shows train. how early we came up with this stuff, but it does take like years or sometimes decades for like wide adoption. Number 10. Oxford University existed for hundreds of years before the Aztec Empire was founded. Bef oh, the Aztec before Empire it was began founded, as an that alliance is shocking. Three Nahua Altapetl city states. These three city-states ruled the area in and around wow. the Valley of Mexico. Now, obviously, all of the native tribes in America aren't going to be, like, thousands of years old since, it, you know, humans didn't cross the Bering Strait until, I mean, they say, like, 10,000 years ago? Or maybe 15,000 years ago. But it was still going to take time for them to, you know, set up shops, set up civilization, things like that. But to hear the Aztecs didn't begin until the early 13th century, that is a little bit surprising. I guess that makes sense around there. But the fact that... Oxford University was founded a thousand years before that. That's not that crazy, uh, to me at least. Just knowing the history, everything's so old in Europe. We had the Romans coming up here, fighting the Celts, probably around the time Oxford was started. 1428 until the combined forces of the Spanish conquistadors and their native allies so under the Hernan Cortes relatively defeated them in 1521. around for that long. Aztec culture had rich and complex mythological and religious Although, traditions, I mean, that was when as the three well tribes combined. Remarkable architectural and artistic accomplishments. Meanwhile, in England, 
Oxford University was already well established. Uh. It has no known date of foundation, but there is evidence of teaching as far back as 1096, making it the 1096. oldest university. Okay, maybe in not the during Roman time. I was kind of wrong about that. Not when the Romans invaded Britain, but I, I, maybe they might have just like set up like a building. Like, hey, this is where you learn and stuff. English speaking world and the world's second oldest university in continuous operation. It grew rapidly from so 1167 exactly when Henry II no. banned English students from attending the University of Paris. Oh, Number wow. 11. Harvard University didn't offer calculus classes for the first few years, years after the school was established. Modern because calculus it was, still... was developed in 17th yeah. century Europe by Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, who independently 17th of each century other... 17th century Europe. First... It was going to take a couple, maybe a couple decades for it to travel across the Atlantic Ocean. All right. ...published their findings around the same Harvard time. Harvard must have been around but the 1700s. elements of it appeared in ancient Greece, then in China and the Middle East, and still later again in medieval Europe and in India. Kind of surprising. Harvard was established in 1636. Oh, wow, it's actually way as... older than I thought it was. I'm a, I'm a little bit more surprised that calculus wasn't kind of figured out a little bit sooner. I mean, earlier in our timeline. That seems a little bit late. I mean, then we talked about the Greek guy that kind of started dabbling in calculus. Its oldest institution of higher learning and its history, influence, and wealth have made it one of the world's most prestigious universities. Calculus was off the curriculum for the first few years for obvious reasons. It hadn't been recognized yet. Yeah, I, mean, I find it astonishing minute. that the oldest university in the United States is even older than such an important scientific breakthrough. <laughs> that is Number pretty 12. impressive. Ecstasy was invented Whoa! the same year the Titanic sank. The Whoa! unsinkable Titanic sank in 1912, going down. I knew that that substance was somewhat used in like the 60s. It was still legal too. It helps like PTSD and stuff like that. But even 50 years before that. Down in the North Atlantic Ocean, four days into the ship's maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City. In the same year, pharmaceutical giant Merck wow. was interested in developing substances that stopped abnormal bleeding. And one oh. of its chemists, Anton Kollisch, synthesized MDMA to avoid a patent by German rival Bayer. That is surprising. That was how they came up with it when what it does is it just releases serotonin, I thought, from your brain. Maybe it's probably a little bit more that goes into it. No particular interest to Merck at the time, and they only came back to research the substance sporadically over the next few years. It wasn't until... <laughs> so they kind of figured it out, but they didn't really think about using it. 1975, 19 the psychoactive effects of the drug began to be taken seriously. And uh, recreational use spread there. Maybe not the 60s, maybe a little bit a decade after that. But I, I knew that it was legal and people were messing with it. After through personal networks around that of time. psychotherapists, psychiatrists, Until they of psychedelics and made yuppies. It legal. So yes, uh, everyone illegal. who died on the Titanic never got the chance to taste Ooh. this drug. But Number 13, could have been. Microsoft was founded while Spain was still a fascist state. Yes, dictator. okay, and this is, this the fact that Microsoft was founded at that time, not shocking at all. The crazy part is that Spain was fascist for so long. Like, Franco just held that country in his fist for decades. To ship. A highly controversial figure within crazy. Spain. Franco it was 1980, right? Leader. When they finally became Supporters a democracy. His strong anti-communist and nationalist views, economic policies, preservation of traditional that, Spanish yeah, practices, that's the crazy and support part about of this. the monarchy of Spain as positive influences over the nation. Critics disparage him as an autocratic dictator who violently suppressed opposition and dissent, banned culture. I mean, non he held used power for so long. Yeah. And forced he probably did some crazy things. Much support to the Axis powers during World War II. Franco ruled Spain as a fascist state for, up until his death in 1975, for like three decades. aged 82. This was the same year he that lived Microsoft for so was long. founded by Paul Allen and in his Bill house. Gates. And the Paul beginning Allen? Of a Let's see Paul Allen's Microsoft. ...in computer technology. Number 14. Is that where it comes from? Pablo that Picasso means? died in 1973. The same year. Yes. Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. This man released. lives to be Pablo so Picasso old. Pablo is regarded as one of the most he influential lived for artists so of the 20th long. century. Among his most famous works are the Proto-Cubist Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, 1907, mm -hmm. and Guernica, 1937. A dramatic portrayal of the bombing of Guernica by and the it, German and Italian Air Forces. Like, if someone does this work, this artwork in 1937, does it not look like this guy does not have much longer left to live? You know what I mean? Like, it's just so dark. It looks like, yeah, I don't know. That means that he was doing this work when he was really young. During the Spanish Civil War. Unlike some other great artists And here's the connection young, to that, the Spanish Civil War, Franco, Picasso Francisco Franco. Picasso lived a long and full life until he yes. passed away in 1973, which was, coincidentally, the, the same, same year yep. that one of the most Pink groundbreaking Floyd. and progressive albums ever was released, Dark Side Crazy. of the Moon by Pink Floyd. 
With an estimated 45 people million live. copies sold, you can it live is for a Pink long time. Floyd's most successful Not as long album, as tortoises. And one of the best selling worldwide. It has been remastered and re released several times. I mean, it's times, still legendary its to this day. By several acts. It produced two singles, Money and Us and Them, and is often regarded as one of the greatest yep. albums of all time. I would love to play wow. you some pieces of this album, you but that would most likely end with the takedown of this video. But let's be real, if anyone here doesn't know Dark Side of the Moon, so, you Pablo are more in need of a lesson in culture Picasso than in history. Might and finally, have listened. number 15. Harry Potter and the to Deathly Hallows was published in the summer of 2007, the, the same, same year summer that the first iPhone model was released. Published? You know what's crazy? I remember when that book got dropped, and I remember like videos on old YouTube going viral of people going into bookstores and like screaming out the ending, which is <laughs> horrible. But that was like a huge trend back in 2007 YouTube. The last book in the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was released in 2007, Ending the series that began in 1997 with the publication it's of It's crazy Potter. that she dropped that book and then only a couple years, maybe like two, three years later, they finally made the movie. And the Philosopher's Stone. That same year, something came along that has probably done more to kill children's interest <laughs> in reading more than anything else. That was the, the last, iPhone. the last, Considering that the like, first huge iPhone book. seems like a vintage phone now, it's impressive how fast time goes by. Maybe And that's exactly why I book? included this fact on I mean, this it was, it, that's, I, I just gave an example of how famous that book was that was the content going viral about it was spoiling the book for people that was almost 20 years ago and at least to me this really feels like another era but that is yes. it for today i hope you enjoyed the today's iphone video. just like the iphone killed the uh, book star i'm trying to think of that song it was a fantastic video the artwork is brilliant with it i feel like half of these i knew the other half were new definitely go subscribe to casual lectures this guy's gonna be huge this is a good channel big thanks to my patrons destiny <laughs> 9,000. Drew needs to pay his taxes. Why am I doing Karina this? Best John, girl. Denver, I'm the Jack Oof, Travis, the Annoying Penis, friends. Ransom, this channel is not by Aaron. Good old ass. Caleb, Australia by is real. Book. I am Bill not a paid actor. Lugs and Wall. Patrick Dye, the pie. Subscribe to Drew Mexican, Ralph, 7, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6,